This video will show how to swiftly create and configure a web office project. How this is done will be presented in four scenes, but first, as a prerequisite, the data has to be published using ArcGIS Desktop or ArcGIS Pro. We've used ArcMap to compile a simple plan used solely for this video. It is a city map with a few layers – addresses, streets, green space, waterways and so forth. To hand data over to WebOffice, it needs to be published as a service. We'll skip that step here, as the procedure and settings will depend a lot on your IT infrastructure. Once the data has been serviced, we can move over to WebOffice. As a first step, we will create a new WebGIS project and add the data. The WebGIS project needs to have a name, confirmed and followed by entering the map service published prior to this step. After we have selected the output service to use, we can decide to add an overview map. This will be our own map, but could also be data from public sources like ArcGIS Online or OpenStreetMap. To offer coverage outside of our own map, a base map is used. Let's select World Street Map here. In addition, we want to give context by adding a north arrow and displaying a scale bar. By confirming, we move on and close the wizard. Our first WebGIS project is ready to use. Let's take a look at the result by clicking Publish, which will then offer us the links to the different client UIs available. What we are really interested in is the core client. The web app is loaded in your default browser. Your WebGIS project has just gone online. On the left side, you can see the selectable data layers. The map view includes the north arrow and the scale bar. The overview map is top right by default. Outside the coverage of our plan, parts of the underlying world street map can be seen. Like in any web map, you can zoom and navigate. A number of tools are available by default, like the measuring tools. Within an instant, we have created a WebGIS project. Let's now refine the possibilities. First, by adding a reusable pre-configured search. Search is based on a reusable map service that we have to select here. Now we tie this search to one of our current layers. We select the address layer to offer a responsive search for street name and house numbers. The street name field is the one to start with. The type of search is defined as value list with auto completion. This is followed by some more options. Next, we have to combine street with house numbers. We want a selectable list of existing house numbers to be displayed. Finally, we define how the results will be displayed. The user is only to see fields that are relevant and field naming can be clarified through aliases. There are more options here, but we're done for the moment. Yet, we want search results to be displayed at a reference scale of 1 to 1000. Let's have a look at the effect of what we did. Now there is a predefined search in the UI. Up on input of the first characters of a street name, the choice is offered and for a selected street the house number can be picked from the list of existing house numbers. The resulting location is displayed at 1 to 1000 and the attribute information is visible in table form at the bottom. There are many more configurable workflows like these in WebOffice. Let's take a brief look at two more. The first one being printing templates. The layout of any print offered to the end user can be defined in detail. There are templates to assist you. You decide about scale and output formats and can even apply rotation. The result is a high-end print or plot that meets your requirements.
Last but not least, an editing workflow, configurable like the others. Offer different editing tasks tied to user permissions. Here you can see how a new site is added. The form in this menu and the list entries have been predefined to our liking. You've just seen a subset of configuration options available in WebOffice and how they help creating useful applications. In case you have additional questions or look for more information about WebOffice, leave us a message. We're glad to be of service.